Goa Shipyard recently launched its second project 1135.6 frigate, named Tavasia, showcasing advanced indigenous design and state-of-the-art weaponry systems. The launch was part of India's continued efforts to strengthen its naval capabilities with self-reliant defense technologies. The ship is expected to feature cutting-edge systems, reflecting India's focus on modernizing its naval fleet. Key players in the project highlighted the successful integration of indigenous systems and technologies, further enhancing the nation's defense self-sufficiency. The Tavasya's launch marks a significant milestone in India's naval expansion and modernization strategy. India is on the verge of implementing a domestically developed anti-drone system across the country within the next six months, following successful trials. Union Home Minister Amit Shah highlighted that this laser-equipped system has already improved drone neutralization rates along the Punjab border from 3% to 55%. The initiative, a collaboration among border guarding forces, the Ministry of Defense, the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, and other government research entities, aims to bolster national security against unauthorized drone activities. This development underscores India's commitment to indigenous technological advancements in defense. Following the resignation of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on January 6, 2025, and the subsequent swearing-in of Mark Carney on March 14, both India and Canada are exploring opportunities to mend their strained relations. Tensions had escalated in October 2024, when Trudeau accused Indian agents of involvement in the assassination of Hardeep Singh Nijar, a Canadian citizen and Sikh separatist leader, leading to diplomatic expulsions and a suspension of visa services. Carney's expressed interest in improving ties, coupled with India's readiness to rebuild based on mutual trust, signals a potential reset in bilateral dynamics. The Ministry of External Affairs has urged Indian students in the United States to adhere to local laws after several detentions of Indian nationals. The detentions occurred following issues with visa status and violations related to work permits. The Indian government emphasized the importance of understanding and following U.S. immigration laws to avoid legal complications. Authorities are in close contact with U.S. officials to address the situation, and consular assistance is being provided to affected students. MEA has reassured students that their safety and well-being remain a priority. The Indian government is considering a request from Bangladesh for a high-level meeting between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Nobel laureate Mohammed Yunus. The proposal follows ongoing discussions between the two nations, with Bangladesh seeking India's support for the meeting, which is expected to strengthen bilateral relations. The Indian government is currently evaluating the request, keeping in mind diplomatic priorities and potential outcomes. The proposed meeting is seen as a move to enhance cooperation and address shared concerns between India and Bangladesh. India has decided to assemble at least 21 of the 31 MQ-9B Predator drones locally, marking a significant shift towards indigenous defense manufacturing. This move follows the successful procurement of these advanced drones from the U.S., designed for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. By assembling the drones domestically, India aims to gain crucial technology and expertise, enhancing its defense capabilities. The local assembly is expected to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers while fostering long-term technological development within India's defense sector. India is set to order 156 indigenous Prakan helicopters during the current fiscal year to strengthen its armed forces, particularly for high-altitude warfare. The order is part of an effort to modernize military capabilities and ensure better operational readiness in challenging terrains. These helicopters, developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, will play a crucial role in strengthening India's defense posture in border areas. The decision highlights India's growing focus on indigenous production and self-reliance in defense technology to meet strategic military requirements. Recent geopolitical shifts and U.S. tariff policies have led several nations to reconsider their orders for Lockheed Martin's F-35 fighter jets, potentially presenting India with a unique opportunity to enhance its air capabilities. In February 2025, the U.S. imposed a 25% tariff on Canadian goods, prompting Canada to contemplate reducing 
or canceling its 2023 order of 88 F-35A jets, originally valued at $19 billion. Similarly, Portugal, which had been considering acquiring up to 24 F-35 as to replace its aging F-16 fleet, is now favoring European alternatives like the Eurofighter Typhoon or Dasarafali due to U.S. tariff threats and concerns over NATO commitments. Germany's 2022 order for 35 F-35, as is under scrutiny, with discussions about reducing or canceling the order in favor of the European Future Combat Air System or FCS, especially after the U.S. announced a 25% tariff on European Union goods in February 2025. Additionally, Switzerland's 2021 agreement to purchase 36 F-35, as faces growing public and political pressure, with a potential referendum to cancel the order in favor of European options like the Rafale. These developments could allow India to expedite its acquisition of fifth-generation jets, as the reallocation of these aircraft becomes a possibility. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, is on track to deliver the first Tejas MK-1A aircraft next month, advancing the timeline of the indigenous fighter jet program. This development follows the successful completion of rigorous tests on the fighter, marking a significant milestone for India's defense capabilities. To accelerate production, HAL is leveraging decades of experience with MiG and Sukhoi aircraft, with the company enhancing its manufacturing capacity at the Nashik facility. This expansion is aimed at meeting the increasing demand for the Tejas MK-1A, which is a more advanced version of the Tejas MK-1, equipped with improved avionics, weapons, and systems. HAL's progress in this regard reflects its commitment to fulfilling India's defense needs while ensuring the aircraft meets both national and international standards. The delivery is seen as a vital step in strengthening India's indigenous defense manufacturing capacity. In a significant advancement for India's aerospace manufacturing sector, Larsen & Tubro, LNT, has introduced a state-of-the-art robotic drilling machine to streamline the production of LCA Tejas fighter jets. The automated system is designed to enhance precision and efficiency in drilling processes for Tejas wings, reportedly reducing drilling time by over 95%. The initiative aligns with India's push for self-reliance in defense manufacturing, as the rapid production of Tejas jets is critical for meeting the Indian Air Force's growing demands. By leveraging robotic automation, LNT has not only increased the speed of assembly, but also ensured greater accuracy and consistency, minimizing human error. The robotic system is expected to contribute significantly to the overall production rate of the Tejas MK-1A variant, which is slated for accelerated deliveries. With India's defense sector increasingly integrating advanced manufacturing technologies, this development marks a key milestone in boosting the indigenous production capabilities of next-generation combat aircraft. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.